Now there is signs and there are signs. Throughout this whole week, I've just been seeing 787 stuff. In news, in my area, flights and stuff, I've just been seeing that everywhere. Like last night, I was woken up by a low level passing 787 landing at Birmingham. Tell me that's not a sign. Nice. So that inspired me to do a flight today. We are flying the TUI 787-8 from Gatwick to a country I've not even unlocked yet. And that's Kate Vardy, bringing back some 60 day tour vibes, you know? And if you want it back, hey, listen, if this video hits 1K likes, that's crazy. If we hit that, I'll bring it back, all right? And we got Vatsim at Gatwick too as well, so hey, it's a W. What on earth is happening here at Gatwick? Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Echo Golf Kilo Kilo. And we are going to Kate Vardy. And Golf Victor Alpha Charlie. Oh, I've just realized I've got to do this whole leg page manually. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. What on earth is a JetBlue doing here at Oh, wait, I forgot. They fly the 321s across the Atlantic, don't they? Yep, you know what? You stay there, mate. My bad. My bad. On this episode of Spotting a Pilot, here we have a word of originals in putting his data and looking lost as always, trying to figure out his next waypoint, and is about to mimic the hello from one of the passengers coming on board. That's got to. Hello. What a polite man. India Sierra Papa Uniform. Finally, the final waypoint execute. That took way too long. Sure did. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of departures. Ho oh, oh, ho, I love it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, have I? Oh, I'm such a rookie, bro. How have I forgot to turn these screens on there, man? There we go. On, on. It's all good right there, man. And I forgot to turn my packs on. Oh my days, I'm such a rookie in this aircraft. <laughs> Hopefully you guys should start turning on now. My good, I'm so bad, bro. We all know that now. Hey, get me going. Good day, Tom Jet 90 Tango, radio check. Tom Jet 90 Tango, Gabba Gram, hello, radio 5. Roger that, Tom Jet 90 Tango. We have QNH 1011 aboard, requesting clearance to Kate Vardy is filed. Is it Kate Vardy? Whatever this place is called. All station, all station, standby coordination. Okay. Mate, I was just saying that, man. We've got quite a bit of AC at Gatwick. Can have just go, gone offline? All stations, standby, controller change. Controller change. Okay. We just have to wait then. Guess we have to wait. And a good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gat speaking from the flight deck. Apologies for the delay here. Looks like we're just having a quick controller change. We should be able to get our clearance and start pushback and all that great stuff right there. Some information on our flight today, flight time around about 5 hours and 32 minutes. Weather on our flight should be nice and smooth, just when it hits arrival it should be a little bit choppy but it should be all good over there. Oh, look at that, is that Lufthansa London or Scandinavian? Oh, beautiful views. Well, you're probably going to hear the cabin crew give the announcement so make sure you listen carefully. And we're going to finish up here in the flight deck and uh, just wait until we can get clearance here. Thank you very much. I'm get 90 Tango, get with ground. Apologies, was that for Tom Jet 90 Tango? Hey fam, Tom Jet 90 Tango, Gatwick Ground. Hello, clear to Cape Verde, North Mar 1 X ray departure, Squawk 7610. 7610. What was that departure called? The Nova. I cleared to Cape Verde via the Nova 1 X ray departure, Squawk 7610, Tom Jet 90 Tango. I got that Squawk wrong. Tom Jet 90 Tango, correct. Oh! 76. One zero. Oh, I got it right. Hey, let's go. <laughs> one three six, one four three, one five two, five point five for the chain. We're going full power here today, and uh, that is all good. So, uh, can we turn you off here? So our V two today is gonna be. Can I? Can I not turn you off? Okay, I was about to say. So our V two today is gonna be one five two. So let's set you right there. One five two. And I think my initial car is going to be like 5,000. That's just my guess. Especially like around here in London. It's normally like 5,000, 6,000. So let's say 5,000. A quick look at the chart in a second. Uh, let's have a look. 
Oh, so it's 4,000 SAR. I'm lying to myself. Uh, runway 26 left and the heading is 257. So remember, 257 for the heading and 4,000. Hey, first of all, shout out to uh, who's this here? Matthias here on his mentoring session. Apologies, I couldn't reply to the message as soon as possible. I was getting my clearance there, but hopefully, he had a good mentoring session. Matthias one. normal here so before start passenger signs are on yes we can say that mcp v2152 heading 257 out to 4000 get che uh take off speeds here let's have a look uh so, whoa that was close 1361431152 that is confirmed and checked here uh cd pre-flight is completed trim will be set after pushback uh, which is gonna be 5.5 and take over taxi briefing. I've not given that yet. So this is what it is We are over here. We're gonna go nose to the right We're gonna taxi via Quebec Alpha. And we're going to runway 26 left. I believe so we're probably gonna test go Quebec Alpha Lima Kilo Papa Alpha Sierra uh, Actually probably Alpha November then Mike take off here and um, take off here. It's just some very straightforward departure. It's just basically taking off runway heading and hitting 4,000 and, and just listen to what London Control tells us to do if they stay online. Locking gear. And Tom check 90 Tango, stand 566, request start and push. 90 Tango, squawk 7610, please. Apologies, 7610, uh, Tom Chick 90 Tango. I knew it. I knew I got it wrong. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Try harder. <laughs> Hang on, man. I'm getting cooked. Tom Chick 90 Tango, thank you. Stand 565, push and start approved, face south. Push and start approved, facing south, um, Tom Chick 90 Tango. Right, uh, parking rates can now be released. There we go. Start at will, right, left side is clear, right side is clear. Oh, look at that easy jet right there. And uh, how do I start in? And, oh, yeah, you can start both engines, Dream Liner, but we're not doing that. Let's start off the right engine here. And let's go, Ignitione. Hello, and welcome to your flight with TUI. Whether it's your first flight or your 50th, do take a moment to look and listen as we talk you through the magic of flying. Please keep your seatbelt fastened whenever the seatbelt sign is illuminated. Putting your seatbelt on is easy. Simply clip it together, then adjust it by pulling on the strap. XBDR, thank you very much. XBDR is there. And let's get the web raid on here too as well. Because we can do that now. Ooh, have you guys moved out of the way? No, I don't care if you... Oh, no, I should care. If you're there, I'm sorry, I've just fried you now. And uh, let's leave you to it from there. All right, thank you. And everything else seems good over here. Oh, yeah, flaps. We are taking flats. Well, one. Nope. Okay, are you going to work for me or not? One and five. There we go. One and five for the flaps here. Plug control test. And Tom Jet 90 Tango request taxi. I'm just 90 Tango, taxi Quebec Charlie, Quebec, Lima, Papa, hold short, Juliet. Quebec Charlie, a uh, Quebec Charlie, Lima, Papa, hold short, Juliet, Tom Jet 90 Tango. I don't know where I'm that just is. Quebec Charlie, then Quebec, Lima, Papa, hold short, ah, Juliet. Okay. All right, Joe. Corbett, Charlie, then Quebec, Lima, Papa, and Holshot, Julia. Tom Jet 90 Tango. Park mates can be released. Uh, let's get a bit of power going on here. Um, excuse me, mate. You can't see an aircraft in front of you. Oh my days, you can't trust GSX nowadays. Move! One, two, four, What's wrong with you? I'm very disappointed in you. I know. Subject 9 0 Tango, taxi holding point Alpha 2, runway 26 left to fight Papa Alpha Sierra. Papa Alpha Sierra, um, Alpha 2, Subject 9 0 Tango.
I'm Jet 9 0 Tango, contact tower, one two, uh, correction, London Control, 134 decimal 125. Bye bye. Uh, 134, uh, what was the last part again for 9 0 Tango? It's 134 decimal 125. 34125, thank you much, 9 0 Tango. Right, uh, 1. Three, four, that's more one, two, five. Swing it over here, and there we go. Did I get that right? Yeah, we got that right. Lovely. Alpine four seven Tango Lima, unfortunately, I'll be closing shortly. It's unit on that one, two, two, eight, sir. No, 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 no. Uh, Tom Jet nine zero Tango, hold, um, holding Alpha two. Tom Jet nine zero Tango behind depart, uh, correction landing, East Jet A three twenty by Alpha two line up two six left behind. Um. Line up and wait behind runway two still after the easy jet landing. Tom Jet 90 Tango. One go around la terre. Can I confirm for Tom Jet 90 Tango? Are we clear to line up two six left? Hey firm. Two six left, nine zero tango. Right, it looks like the easy jet went around to close it'll be unicorn one two two eight. One two two eight, easy two six tang uniform. Airbus 725, Monty Unicom 122, that's fine for Mike. 22.8, that's 372. It's 37 Bravo, Mike, it'll be Unicom for yourself also, there's one four miles ahead on the island. Subject 90 Tango, after departure, it'll be Unicom 122, that's 187, 290 degrees, 9 knots, clear take off. Clip for takeoff, 26 left, and after Unicom, 2 decimal, thank you much, 90 Tango. Yes, we've got clip for takeoff at least, I'm happy with that. Is there like a Tolga button here? I don't even know if there is, but hey yo, are you Tolga? Nope. You don't do anything, so I'ma just do this. And just hope you know what you're doing. Cause I don't, oh, you know what? It'd be great if I actually had my ultra alarmed. Hi, I'm stupid. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that sounds amazing. Eight to not check to one time, cause it's on my side. There we go, what are the wind's looking like? Oh, one o'clock, 11 knots, not bad. Alright, we got a V1 here. Ah, we got to rotate. Oh, we're very light today. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are light. There we go. Alright, pause rate to climb. Gear is. Oh. Gear is going up, baby. There we go. I don't know what happened there. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> and then we're going to Unicorn. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we're avoiding all of that. Right, uh, turn of lights off here, matey, thank you, and no. This is what I meant to click. Off you go right there, where we at right now? We're at 10,000, yep, yeah, 10,000, right. Lights off here, shall we turn the seabird signs? Uh, yeah, you know, let's turn the seabird signs, we can. Seabird signs off here, and we are all good. Get with traffic, Tom Jet 90 Tango, Nova 1X rate departure, climbing past flight level 160. Right, man, look at the weather though, man. This is just England though. Way just got a crazy bit of weather, and I believe that, yeah, that's the that's the end of the United of the Kingdoms very soon. Uh, all my lights off here says it's all good. Yep, we just have to cruise away now to flight level. Got it set here, flight level 390, and let's have you disappear. Everything else seems good on our end. We're just going to cruise away and fingers crossed we don't run into any bad weather. Look what I'm seeing right now, bro. I've never seen MFS like this ever. Yo, my goodness, there's a storm below us right there. I'm so glad we're avoiding, but I can't lie to you. This view is phenomenal. And oh yeah, guess what? We're about to leave. United of the Kingdoms. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem. You didn't see anything. Oh, okay. And 
and a good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ken speaking from the flight deck. I'll be honest, we've been out cruising our tree for like two hours. I just kind of forgot to tell you. My bad. But we are cruising our tree to flight level 410. Now, when we was crossing United of the Kingdoms, you may have seen some civilian belts. Definitely not warships. I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't know why they've been deployed. And it ain't my business. So it shouldn't be your business. But good news. Dinner's about to be served in like 10 minutes. So to get your dinner, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and ding that notification bell so the flight attendants know who to give the dinner to. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of the flight, because it's gonna be bumpy once you arrive at Cape Verde. Thank you very much. All right, so I kind of low-key lied to them. We was we meant to be at 410 because of our step climb. Basically what step climb is, is you burn a lot of fuel as you're flying away once I got itch my eye. So basically, you burn a lot of fuel as you're flying, you lose weight, the lighter you get, the higher you can climb. The higher you climb, the less air resistance. The less air resistance, the faster you get to your destination. All that good stuff right there. I sounded really intelligent there. I really liked how I said that. That sounds smart. Uh -uh. No, no, never. That's a bummer. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I've just noticed something. We've been here for um, an hour and 11 minutes and I've only just turned off my APU. And if you don't know, you meant to turn the APU off after the pushback. And I've only just turned them off now. <sighs> there we go. Madrid has just contacted me there and 132975. Is that correct? I hope so. Is that right? 132975. Yes. Great success. Imagery control, good day. Tom Jet 90 Tango, flight level 410. Tom Jet 90 Tango Madrid, good afternoon. Identify flight level 410. There we go, beautiful. Oh, look at that, man. And there we go. There is Espana, Spain. We've left the United Kingdoms. Well, United of the Kingdoms. We're now entering Espana, Espanol. Hola, como te amo. Mi amo, Wesley Etu. <laughs> Yes, nine zero Tango Madrid, leaving no. my space. Morita Unicorn, goodbye. Um, Unicorn, one to two decimate, gracias. Tom Jet nine zero Tango. Whoa, Spanish in the building. I'm so glad I said it right. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? I think that's Grand Canary. And further down there is actually Morocco. We can just about see a little bit of land over there. But why I'm here is because I want to do a fuel check here. So we are at, let me just have a quick look here. We have 15.7 in the tank. We are over here. So we should have by Limao. Is there a way? Bro, my thing's tripping. If I go VNAV. Um, does it tell me how much fuel? There is a way to figure out how much fuel you will have at a certain point. Oh, is that in an Airbus? Or can you do it in this? There is a way. RT data. Ah, yes. There we go. So I had to click RT data. So at 1802 Zulu and Lima got 13.4. So at Isoka should have 11.2 in the tank. So let's double check real quick. Okay, so Isoka is 11.6 and it's saying 11.2. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. We can let it slide. That's all right. That's not too bad. It's over. We are screwed. Zero one one. Hopefully that works. Uh, beautiful CTRL. Don't want you on. I don't know. Yes, I have you on. I think that's a good thing to have on. I don't know. If you can see right over here, you may have noticed that <laughs> we have a disgusting twelve knot crosswind on the approach. And I'll be honest, I've not done many crosswind landings in this aircraft yet alone in MFS. So, uh, yeah. Loki kind of work. But on the other hand, uh, the runway is 3,000 meters, elevation is 184, and the weather right now, if I have a quick look here, open airport, 
And weather, the weather is uh, 29 degrees. So it's gone down by one degree because originally it was at 30. Now it's at 29. Kuna is 1009. All right, lovely. So this is what my approach is meant to look like. And uh, my ND looks like this. <laughs> I think that's my speed brake's armed. I think so. So we can say speed brake is armed. And let's go flats five. If I move this across here. Oh, I've gone too much here. Flats five. And uh, I want to go 180 on the speed here. I want to be I want to be safe with this approach, man. I don't want to be I don't want to be too high or too low, you know. Okay, 180 on the speed. Let's go 1500 feet per minute. 180 on the speed. And that should bring us here nicely. So I ran about once we start making this left turn here. Want to be 1500? Oh, would you look at that? It actually fixed itself there too as well. Oh, nice. Oh, man, this is fantastic. I don't know why I'm getting a dinging sound for. What's this dinging sound for? Why are you dinging at me? Landing gear will be down. Once we make this left turn, we can bring the landing gear down here. Oh, man, this is absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is amazing. It's beautiful. This is art. Ha, 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 ha. Kate Vardy, what a way to enter, bro. This is incredible. Let's go flats 25, flats 30. And what's my beer approach again? Beer approach is uh, 138. Actually, it's plus six because it's 12 knots. Uh, actually, no, should be fine. Uh, 138. 138 can be set here. What's our winds looking like? So landing gear's down, flaps is down here. And that's the landing checklist here. So that should be shut down. Right, let's get ND back on here. What's my winds looking like? Six knots. Man, we should be getting a 12 knot very soon, man. Is this, are we getting a little dust storm here? What's going on? Oh, man, look at this view. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, man, I have to land now. You got to land. You got to land with a view like this. You have to. I've done some dumb things. Now I'll do dumb things again. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to arm my localizer. Oh, my days. I forgot to do that. Oh, I'm a numpty. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. I was so focused on everything. Now. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not on my glass up here. Oh, we're back that's on it, though. Are we good? Oh, man, that's all right, then. For a hot second there, I thought I messed up there big time. But we Gucci, man. Oh, we got a little cheeky cross here, man. I'm not too sure. But, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of Reddit in. Get a little Krabby Patty action going on. Bring that nose down just a tad here. Just a tad high. There we go. Looking good. How we're looking. Yep. Not looking too shabby. Speed wise looking good. 500 here. Very nice. Never thought K Vardy was like this though. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe like Cancun kind of vibes. You know where there's loads of trees around the runway. But we didn't really get it from this. Oh, we're sinking kind of quickly. Continue. Oh man, this is beautiful, man. Remember, Wesley, you got the crosswind, so you got to kick it out. All right. All right, kick out the crowd. 30, 30, 20, 10. There we go. Oh, baby. Oh, there we go. Spoilers. Versus a green. And Disa, ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to K Vardy. Flight time of. I would like to tell you, but apparently it's just reset his time now, but that's fine. Welcome down, ladies and gentlemen, to K Vardy, man. My gosh, that was amazing.
Right, uh, let's get land lights off here. And there we go, right there too as well. And get by the traffic. Uh, time check 90 Tango. Taxing to stand via. Uh, via Charlie. There you go. Notice though, like this aircraft picks up speed very quickly and it is very hard to control once it does. Uh, but yeah, lights all good here. Let's turn taxi lights off here too as well. And let's get rid of the wet radar before we fry anybody on the ground. Um, there you go. Thank you. And my gate is gate number four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Is it cuatro or cuatro? I don't know. One of the two. Uh, right stairs, my gate over there. All right, let's make this left turn here. There's Gary, mate. Or is it Susan? One of the two. I can't see from here. Hopefully, this was decent parking. I really hope it's decent parking. Tell me to move forward. Okay. More to the right. Okay, yep. If I'm not in the center here, it's Gary. Slot the brakes here and parking brake is set. And uh, we can go left into shut down and right into shut down here. I forgot to turn my APU on. Oh my days. I left my APU on the whole flight and I forgot to turn it on while I was while I landed. That is one of the most embarrassing rookie mistakes I have ever made. That is actually embarrassing. Ah, there we go. Like nothing ever, like nothing happened. Right, uh, there we go. Beacon lights off here. And uh, let's get you off there too as well. And let's get you off there. And bam, 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 bam. And super science is off and there you go susan you can start the deboarding now thank you mate oh my days man i knew I'd, i should never have trusted gary bro what kind of parking do you call that that is shocking oh gary mate you gotta be fired for that that ain't my fault can't blame me on that one what was that huh oh. Ah, that warm Kevadi air, man. I oh, can't believe we're down, man. You know what? Let me move out of the way real quick. There you go. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me, mate. Yep. Sorry. 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 I'll just stand here. I'll stand here while you guys walk by with that beautiful sun setting in the background there. Oh, lovely, lovely. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I fully enjoyed that flight, man. Was very surprised with the actual kind of like airport. Like I thought, Cape Verde was like very green, but it seemed very dry. Maybe this is the dry season. I don't know. But I fully enjoyed that flight. If you did, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know that you guys are rocking the videos. You know, thank you guys for all the support you've been showing on all the previous videos, man. Let's keep this ball rolling. Roll to 100k, then roll to a milli, then roll to whatever we go to after that, you know what I mean? But I know we can do this, man. So, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. God bless you, man. Jesus absolutely loves you. Deuces. That was such a sick fight, bro. Blow me now, mate. It's 28 degrees. Why are you wearing a jacket? Why are you wearing a jacket? Oh, man, help.